cannabis sellers have sprouted up right across Thailand since the plant was decriminalised last year. Now they're wondering what the future holds, with plans by the new Move Forward Coalition to reclassify marijuana as a controlled substance. If it's illegal import, if you open the shops uh, without any permit, uh, then we have a strong legal mandate to be able to control. But there are 9,000 legally registered sellers. By putting it back into narcotics, it's removing it out of our reach so that we can't actually control it. And I don't want to see that happen. Thailand's Progressive Move Forward Party has been riding high since winning the most votes in last week's election. But it's had to form an eight-party coalition to govern, and that's meant making compromises. Cannabis is only one of them. The coalition signed a 23-point policy agreement, and one of Move Forward's key election promises has been left out, a pledge to review the controversial law that cracks down on criticism of the royal family. It's clear that the other coalition partners, virtually all of them are against it. Supporters say the party's sold out. Right from the start, they've lost their identity, their direction and their principles. They'll pay a high price. The leader says he will put the royal defamation law before the parliament once he gets there. Mr Peter is calling himself Prime Minister-elect, but he still needs to win the support of the military-controlled Senate to be chosen as PM. And in a country that's just emerged from nine years of military rule, this will be a challenge. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Bangkok.